Alright, so the topic of this video is going to be kind of geared towards someone in high school that is interested in going into medicine um, and becoming a physician. I've had a few requests, some people have messaged me wanting, you know, what can I do as a high schooler, um, you know, to prepare myself for medical school. And while that seems like a long ways off um, from where I am now, I uh, went back and kind of thought about, you know, what what did I do in high school and what, I guess, advice I have for high schoolers who know that they want to go into medicine. So John and I brainstormed of a few things, thinking back and, you know, what things could we have done differently or what things did we do that felt helped us. And a lot of people ask about grades and, oh, my GPA is, you know, this and, oh, I got, you know, a B in chemistry, does that mean I won't go to med school and, and things like that. And to be honest, grades, grades don't really matter all that much in high school. Medical schools do not ask for your high school transcript. They won't know that you had a B or a C in any of your classes. But what grades do help are, you know, well, what are your plans for undergrad? You know, where are you going to get your degree? And getting into a good school, I think, is more important than what your grades actually were in high school. They're not, they're not going to look look at that. It's kind of like a new leaf you get when you get to undergrad. So if your grades aren't the best, no fear. If they are really well, you know, really great, then hey, maybe you have figured out how you study well and, and that's great too. But to be honest, they don't look at them at all. So that being said, you know, get into a good undergraduate school that have the classes that are required for medical school and you can look those up online. Every medical school is different. Some hardly have any required classes and some have a whole bunch of required classes so each individual school is different so you do have to look into that it's mostly you know your science classes and then some English and and other classes like that but the classes that you do need to take because you will have to take the MCAT um, before you go into medical school and that requires you to take basic chemistry your basic biology organic chemistry as well as physics and then your English courses to help with the verbal part of that and I guess pretty much any school I can think of offers those. I guess maybe not trade schools or something like that, but pretty much under either public or private or even small schools usually offer those classes. So I guess just be aware of those. Um, the main thing though is looking back is your study habits. If you can even start being aware of your study habits in high school, that will help you out so much in med school. Because yeah, med school is hard and everything, but I would say the you know people who you know start doing better and everything those are the people who figured out how they best learn how you know the different how well they can adapt to the different information so even in high school if you can figure out oh for this class I learn best like this or I do really well taking notes in class and listening and then reviewing it if you can start really figuring out what works best for you and then strengthening those that would be really helpful. That'll help you out a lot in undergrad as well as in med school. We were joking the other day that, you know, once we got into med school, we we're like, oh my goodness, if I studied anywhere near how I study in med school, we could have aced, aced undergrad. Of course, everything's, you know, um, 2020 in hindsight. I mean, we probably couldn't, but uh, study habits definitely are something, are something to be aware of. And then secondly, um, extracurriculars. So, off kind of the whole grades and study things, extracurriculars are important. You're, I'm sure you've heard that. So it's the different clubs you're in, volunteering, you know, what you do if you work, or what you do for a job, those are important. So even if you work at something completely different, you know, I worked in a candy store and I could still think of strengths that um, could maybe help me get into undergraduate or even into medical school. So just try to hone in on, you know, being a hard worker, um, I guess being respectful, those are all things you can do at any job. Learn how to work as a team, um, be responsible. I mean, those are basic things that you think, oh, any job, oh, I can't, you know, medical schools aren't going to like that I worked at a candy store. And no, they really just want to see what you've learned from that experience. So it doesn't matter what jobs you're in. doesn't really matter what clubs you're in. Um, what they like to see is what you're passionate about. So if you're really passionate, like my husband, he was really into sports, so he did sports all throughout high school, he did three sports in undergrad, so he was he was always doing that. So he didn't have the time to have health related jobs or um, volunteer a bunch of hours, but what they like to see is how passionate you are about something. 
and that brings me kind of to the commitment aspect. They want to know if you're in 10 different clubs on your resume or on your um, application starting from high school, that doesn't mean anything to them. You know, are you in those 10 clubs for, you went to like two meetings for each? That means nothing. What they like to see is maybe one or two clubs or activities that you've been involved with that maybe you've helped run or what you've started with those or you've been volunteering at your church for seven years, you know, ever since you were in junior high or something. Those are things they like to see and kind of what you've learned from that. So just being aware of those. And then um, the last thing is shadowing. If you have the opportunity as a high schooler to be able to shadow um, someone in the health related field, I would absolutely try to do that. Um, and it, I mean, if you're in high school and know they want to go into med school, if you want to be a physician, you know, that's great. Then shadow some physicians and everything like that. But if I mean, the healthcare field, you have so many options of what you can do. You can be a physician's assistant, you can do nurse practitioner, you can be a nurse, you can um, be a rad tech, or radi you can go under radiology, and um, and just do a whole bunch of things. So just if you're interested in healthcare, just knowing your options and knowing what's out there and, you know, maybe looking into how, how many more years of education is, is this and what do they get to do, and that will kind of help fine-tune if you just know you want to go on the health field. There's There's so many options. But if you do know you want to go to medical school, try shadowing doctors. And I, it was great. I had one physician that I would shadow almost every year. I can't even tell you how many years I did that, and that was wonderful. But also try to shadow other physicians, because you might have one great experience with one and be like, yep, this is absolutely what I want to do. I'm just going to shadow this person. You don't know if you just really liked, you know, their style or how, how they worked with you. Um, and the same goes the other way. If you have one bad shadowing experience, it doesn't mean, oh, this is absolutely not for me. I can't do this. It could be just who you were shadowing, kind of how that worked out. So for shadowing, I definitely would maybe do something in primary care to see clinic side of things. Also try to do something in the hospital. I mean, you can be a hospitalist. That's different than clinic work. And also you could do surgery. All those are different. And you don't, you don't need to decide what you want, to, what kind of physician you want to be at that point. But just knowing what's out there, what are your different options. Um, I think it's just really helpful and then it kind of gives you a light at the end of the tunnel. I remember in high school and thinking, oh my goodness, I have four years of undergraduate left, I have four years of medical school, I have three plus years of residency, it just seems like so many years. But shadowing and seeing patients and seeing you know, what it is they do kind of gave me like, oh okay, this is what I want to do, this is really exciting, someday I get to wake up and do exactly what this person is doing. So that really, really helps. And then having that long-term relationship with a physician is going to be really helpful when it comes to writing letters of recommendation and also just your go-to person of, oh, I'm thinking about this or, you know, how did, how did this go for you and things like that. So anyways, to summarize, I said grades, your GPA, it doesn't really matter in high school. They're not going to ask for your high school transcript. It's more now your undergraduate study. So if you're in high school, you know, try to get, you know, do well in your classes first to like understand what's going on because if you can understand the basic science concepts in high school it's going to help you build to build on that in your undergraduate studies and then obviously then in medical school as well but grades don't really matter GPAs I mean you kind of get a clean slate when you start your undergraduate studies and then study habits I would very much highlight that just being aware you can go online and look up you know the different types of learning styles and just trying to get into what works for you um, learning how to adapt for each different class because that's going to require a different kind of study skill and same with different teachers or professors that changes extracurriculars what they're looking for there is commitment you know how many years are you doing this how passionate are you about this um, it doesn't have to be medically related yes they love to see that oh I volunteered in the hospital and did this and was able to see you know what this healthcare um, team member did you know and what this health other healthcare um, professional did and things like that but they're just mostly looking for commitment and then shadowing of course make sure this is what you want to do it is a long road and just make sure this is what you want to get into and look at all sides don't just look at the good sides but also don't just look at the bad sides take it as a whole picture and and kind of really fully understand what um, will be what the long road ahead will be so I hope this helps if you guys have any other questions feel free to message me or post below but hopefully this was helpful. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.